Hello and welcome to MFFS. This is the uh, Clavier edition, so it's uh, not the same as the regular MFFS. I've done a video on that uh, many months ago. Uh, so yeah. So the first thing you want to build is one of these. It's coercion deriver. This is the way you're going to get the energy. You can get energy from EU, from MJ, or indeed uh, just from UE as well. Um, I've just gone for this. Uh, it's got from ME, the ME right in front of me on the left there. It's got some energy in it. So I'll plop it down there. And you can see it's red. That means it's off. So the default state is off. If you want to turn it on, you can see it's getting some energy here from this MFE that I've got plugged in there. Um, let's change the mode now. You can see it's going back down. And this one was empty. It's filling this one up. So, yeah. So derive and integrate is obviously fairly straightforward. What's going on there? You can. Um, I didn't get any of that. Um, you can. Uh, yeah, get some more uh, speed from it with. Uh, you know, you know, accelerate reaction or whatever. Yeah, it was quite hard to see that. So we'll just get rid of it. Let's have a look now how quickly it will fill up. So it's filling up very, very fast. Okay. Uh, you can also see here we've got frequency. So we can set our frequency to whatever we want. We'll leave it on zero, I guess. Um, if we get a frequency card, um, shift right click on it, frequency set to zero. So what this means is, um, yeah, the lapis will do the same thing, by the way. Um, so what this means, we just put a different frequency in, and then and we can see, oh, maybe it doesn't take, uh, let, We'll put in a different numbered frequency. Let's see if that will work. Yeah, that's fine. So, um, so we can see it's like that. If we shift now and right click, it's going to set it back to naught. So it's cool to have a frequency card to make sure that all the um, um, all of these uh, uh, blocks on the network will be the same frequency. So we've got some power here. So. Next thing we want to look at is how to upgrade what we've got in there. Well, as you can imagine, it's capacity that we need to look at. So, that's not the one. But this one, on the other hand, is. That's the one for the other MSFS. So we go into it, and you can see the capacity starts massively increasing, like so. Yeah, it should be all right there. And it's not going hugely fast, so we can put a speed module in there as well. Well, all 64. Hmm, it's using a lot of nether cores. Yeah, it didn't seem to make much difference actually, did it? Mm. Well, regardless, it's still filling up. All right, so we've cleared a little area here. Oh, incidentally, if we've got the remote controller like this, we can link it. So we shift right click, and you can see it's linked to position, link the remote to the position. Now, if we click in the air, shift right click, right click even. 
you can see I'm accessing it remotely. Okay. So what's the next thing? Well, the next thing is Fortune capacitor. As you can tell the capacitor in its name, it's for storage. So we'll put it down, uh, not too far, just a couple of So we can see default state again, it's off. Look at the interface, see fairly sort of similar interface. And you can see link device is two. And that's because the frequency is at naught. So they're already linked. So you need to make sure the frequency is the same. So what do we do with this? Well, we can turn it on. And you can see this is going in here. Let's get rid of that. So there's different uh, modes for this, equalize. So for instance, this is currently 1%, well, basically this mode equalize means that the percentage for, so it was, if it was seven, it'd be, you know, 1%. Basically, make sure the percentage I mean, I could work it out. It doesn't actually tell you what the actual storage is in here. Well, I suppose it's 350, isn't it? It's constantly getting power, which basically means... Hmm, that's not good. Well... Let me just get a wrench. So, we need to use speed again. Let's see if we can get this to actually have useful statistics. Um, let's just search for a module. There's a few more modules we need here. Alright, so the modules we're looking for. Capacity are good. Speed is good. Mm. These scales are running. So you can see the range is now increased with scale. So we can use scale, speed, and capacity as well. So now these are both full. Um, sorry, they're not both full. They're both, so 255, so that's about just under half full. And this is just under half full. So you can see. Yeah. So it's constantly going to equalize itself. Let's, um, let's put it back on, I guess. So you can see they're, they're filling up and they're trying to and they're sort of maintaining parity in terms of the percentage fall. So that's equalized. And now we're going to see spread on based on the energy amount. So if that was relative, this is absolute. So we can see this, this, this figure is going to be absolutely the same. As you can see. Um, Well, there's no linked machines that it's going to need it. We need a projector for that. And we can fill it all up. So we may as well just fill it all up. This is going to get stuff anyway from... Yeah, it's still all right. All right. So, see... So everything's going fine with that. That's all fine. So, what's the next thing? Well, next thing is 
force field projector. So we'll put that, I'll just Just gonna put this I'll put this uh, here, I guess. As you can see, default state is off. Is that even a straight line? Mm, well, whatever. All right. It's always best to link the remote controller to this thing. So there we go. We can see the um, interface here. Let's turn it on. Okay, so this is not what we want, because this is filling up, so that's bad. We equalize now. You can see, it's not so great. And this button here on the left of this matrix here is, is context sensitive, depending on the way you place down the block. All right, as you can see, the frequency as well is the same. So, what do we want to do with this? Well, we want to make a force field. That's what we want to do. So we we'll get a cube thing out. Put it in there. So you can see this uh, cone comes out with a rotating cube. So what you need to do with this? Well, you can imagine it's more module stuff. So, no, well, yeah, that'd be enough. Translation one's good. Scale, rotation. So typical, um, typical sort of mathematical translations there. Let's do a scale. How about four? So there we go. Now keep in mind when you've got no when you've got no no uh, module in there, I'm not going to do that. When you've got nothing in there and you just activate it, you'll get nine. You'll get basically eight blocks around the thing. So you can see I don't know what the internal volume of this is. So it'll be eight. Make it smaller. I'll put two in. Uh, no. Don't fucking push me outside. Oh, you fuck. Oh, we've got death point. Control, which is very fortunate to get that. Can I even do it though? 
Yeah, this is what this is what sucks. You can't even fuck. Ah. Well, well, well. We can just fucking turn it off. I have to say, the amount of times I've done this, it's just been completely fucked. This is the first time it's not been completely fucked. So that's fortunate, I guess. I don't even get into the fucking menu. Yeah. Piss off. Oh, I can't even remember how to get into it now. Yeah, of course I came in. What the fucking menu is this thing? Yeah, of course not in here. Yeah, it probably is. I can't see it though. Um... Well, I guess I don't mind having that skull there. Fucking hell, which ban is it? Yeah. I do mind. I don't fucking want it there. Fuck off. Okay. So, like I was saying, very useful to link your, um, your, your force field projector in case things get a bit fucked. So, yeah. Luckily, I was able to resurrect that. Uh, let's try not to get stuck this time if I can avoid it. So there's cube mode. And yeah. You'll see that this goes all the way underneath. There we go. There it is. So that's pretty cool. But what else can you do? Well, fortunately, this episode went okay. So there will be more. Next time, of course.